Good evening, my name is Jessica Williams. I'm the orchestra director here at Kennett High School. I will be presenting on behalf of our music department. Uh, I will also say that these awards were also awarded at our uh, awards breakfast earlier this week, at which time the students received their awards, but we will be acknowledging them again this evening. Uh, first, we need to thank the Kennett High School Friends of Music for these scholarship awards, totaling over $2,300. We'll start with the Friends of Music Award for Underclassmen. In order to encourage students to continue their studies in music, the KHS Friends of Music awards the following underclassmen with funds to attend a summer music camp, take private lessons, help purchase a new instrument, or to undertake some similar musical endeavor. They have also received a certificate acknowledging their outstanding work in our performing groups. Will the following students please come forward? For outstanding work in choir, Samantha Anthony. For outstanding work in orchestra, Julie Bates. And for outstanding work in band, Ivana Luzuski. Okay, next we will acknowledge our uh, Friends of Music Awards for Seniors. The Friends of Music presents financial awards along with a certificate of achievement to seniors who have done outstanding work in band, orchestra, and choir. The recipients are those who have shown considerable musical achievement, excellent leadership qualities, and outstanding character. Would the following seniors please come forward? For choir, Colby Reeves. For orchestra, Laura Elliott. And for band, A.J. Nuts. And also seniors, we are acknowledging these seniors for our outstanding work in all three musical organizations, Kate Bolton, Elizabeth Doya, Peter Latanzio, and Colby Reeves. The Sheila Bourgeau Award. This award is given to an outstanding choir member who displays exceptional musicianship, leadership, and spirit. The award is given in honor of Sheila Bourgeau, who directed Kennett Choirs for 31 years. This year, the award goes to Marisa Maxwell. the Robert Hoke Award. Intended to honor the special contributions to the music program of Bob Hoke, who served as band director for Kennett School District for 37 years, most of them as the high school band director. The award is given to an outstanding senior band member who displays exceptional musicianship, leadership, and spirit. This award goes to Haley Latanzio. Uh, 
and I just want to explain, for those of you who may know Marty Beach, our recently retired orchestra director, there is no Marty Beach award given tonight. The, uh, the reason for this being, he has requested that all funds be put toward the Jonathan Beach Memorial Fund, and there is a Jonathan Beach award presented at graduation. Uh, lastly, we have the Finnegan Award. This award honors Mike and Sue Finnegan, who were co-presidents of the Friends of Music. This award recognizes outstanding service to the entire music department, and although she is unable to be here tonight, this award is given to Hannah Geller. We have the Chester County Press Scholar Athlete Award, which is awarded to both a senior female and male athlete who is recognized for their excellence in both scholarship and athletic achievement. This year's recipients are Callie Beeson and Griffin Dyke. Maureen Jefferson Scholarship is awarded to both a senior female and male athlete who will continue their education, exemplified the concept of a team player, and exhibited a dedication to teamwork and the spirit of cooperation and competition. This year's recipients, Amalia Jursik and Brian Cook. Buchanan Athletic Booster Club Scholarship is awarded to both a senior female and male athlete who will pursue a post high school education, serve as an exemplary role model, and show enthusiasm and dedication. We actually have four recipients this year, Darren Chuck, Madison Chuck, Jake Rose, and Thomas Spell. Bob Scarlett Prize is awarded to the senior female athlete, and the Milman E. Prettyman Prize is awarded to the senior male athlete for outstanding sportsmanship. This year's recipients are Maya Bonificino, Chloe, Chloe Chapman, and Michael Bull. The Charles M. Painter Cup is awarded to the senior female athlete, and the Frank W. Graff Cup is awarded to the senior male athlete who has rendered outstanding athletic service during their senior year. This year we have four recipients, Amy Armitage, Caitlin Buchanan, 
Brady O'Neill, and Michael Yolen. female athlete and the William A. Shoemaker Memorial Cup is awarded to the senior male athlete who, in the judgment of the coaches, has demonstrated individual proficiency and unusual effort in a sport. This year's winners, Haley McCabe and Jackson Hunt. Kendrick Cup is awarded to the senior female athlete, and the Raymond M. Monaghan Trophy is awarded to the senior male athlete who has a combination of athletic ability, academic achievement, and outstanding school service. This year's recipients, Kirsten Sharp and Kevin Godson. Dr. Larry C. Baza Cup is awarded to the senior female, and the Robert C. Roselle Cup is awarded to the senior male athlete, who has actively been actively involved in two or more Kennett High School activities, one of which being a sport. The recipients have also made a considerable contribution to the Kennett community. This year's winners are Haley Shiflett, Jacob Dowdy, and Matthew Petra. Dr. D. Dewar Reynolds Memorial Cup is awarded to both a senior female and male athlete who has earned the school letter and has contributed the most to athletics during their entire high school career. This year's recipients are Catherine Gallivan and Nicholas Miola. <laughs> Some of these date back uh, a long time in Kennett's history, and many of these awards have trophies that are extremely old, and these uh, trophies over the summer get engraved. Um, so many students whose names that I just called, your names are actually going to be etched in the trophy cases here of Kennett for a very, very long time. So congratulations for all the athletic awards. Uh, moving on, next we have the University of Alabama Presidential Scholarship, 
which is awarded for scholastic excellence and personal achievement. This year's recipient is Peter O'Sullivan. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Award honors our junior class recipient with the Rensselaer Medal Award Certificate for Outstanding Academic Achievement in the Study of Mathematics and Science. This year's recipient is John Lieber. <laughs> Next, um, Dr. Jenkins could not be here tonight. Um, she actually fell a little under, under the weather. She usually does her, her outstanding attendance awards. Um, so as I fall, call your names, we have a number of ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and yes, even seniors, who have outstanding attendance. So for our ninth graders, Natalie Alvarez, Andrew Brooks, Marco Estrada Vega, Juan Gonzalez, Jake Kalsher, Carrie Lemus Ramirez, Everardo Ortiz Ion, Elizabeth Great Racher, Ariel Smith, Carly Smith, and Annalise Warner. Our night <laughs> Juniors, Tulupe Adateo, Sean Conley, Javier Yorez Mendez, Andrew Kim, Justin Melton, Abigail Moreno Mendiola, Yulisa Azaguero Lopez, George Plumley, and Jonathan Sanchez Mendoza. This year for our seniors, we actually have four. Usually by the time we get the seniors, we're lucky to have one. But we actually have four. Catherine Gallivan, Jonathan Ganley, William Hodges, and Timothy Louie.
Back to Mr. Fernandez. I have the justice to get sorry, guys. Okay, the uh, Reach Out to the Community Rock Awards are presented to students who gave their time mentoring kindergarten students at Mary D. Lang Kindergarten Center. Uh, the following students, please come up. Blanca Aguilar Acuna, Jillian Baxter, Catherine Bontrager, Jordan Burns, Abigail Church, Morgan Kadir, Ryan Hamilton, no, we don't have that Guadalupe Martinez, Marisa Maxwell, Anna Sarusis, or Hannah Sarusis, Peyton Arcieri, Maritza Bernal Bernal, Rebecca Bogarelli, Eric Calixto, Yanida Suntora, Diego Guadarrama, David Lavin, Julian Mathias, Lucero Montero, and Gloria Villagomez. Congressman Patrick Meehan Good Citizens Award is given to both one male and one female senior who best exhibit characteristics of leadership, courage, and scholarship. Communities thrive when people go beyond what is asked of them and make an effort to help all. These citizens have demonstrated an inspiring commitment to school and country. This year's recipients are Kava Shetty and Rory Bowens. young person in the senior class who demonstrates qualities of a good citizen. Our school winner of the prestigious Dar Good Citizen Award was recognized for her dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. This year's recipient is Catherine Gallivan. National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution Award. Again, honors an outstanding young person in a senior class who demonstrates qualities of good citizenship, such as dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. And this year's recipient is Peter O'Sullivan.
And to present the last two awards and close the night ceremony, Dr. Barber. Okay. I have the pleasure of presenting the last two awards. The first is the Best of Class Award. The Best of Class Award salutes uh, is uh, provided for academic excellence. Our recipient participated in the WPVI TV Channel 6 taping for Best of Class of 2015 at Temple University. This year's Kennett High School Best of Class Award winner is Zhejuan Shen. And the last award this evening is the Student Services Principal's Leadership Award. It's sponsored by the Student Services Company and is given to a student who exemplifies the qualities of leadership, scholarship, and school service. Every year it gives me great honor to try and select from so many students that we have that exhibit these qualities. And really, I'm so proud of the class of 2015 and all that they have accomplished in this year was extremely difficult. However, uh, I think this award recipient will be somewhat surprised um, because generally what we look for is someone who leads by example. It may not be the most vocal person, but is someone that we have seen as an administration that students follow, that does lead by example, and that does set the high standards for excellence uh, and certainly has a great deal of pride in our school and community. And this year's award recipient goes to Peter Latanzio. for us is when we look out into the auditorium, and this is the eighth year I've been honored to stand before parents, students, grandparents, friends, and family, uh, and be part of this, this evening. And I can tell you that eight years ago when I first started, the room was half empty. And I'm so proud of what we, uh, what you, what we have accomplished together as a community, as families, and as a complete uh, organization. I think that there's merit in not only this room, there's merit outside of the folks that are here tonight, and I think when we see we receive recognitions as a school district or school, such as U.S. News and World Report Silver Medal Award, which we recently won as a high school, it validates all of the things that we are doing as a community together. It validates that we are continuously putting students first, and we're continuously trying to meet the needs as best we can to provide students with opportunities, opportunities to pursue very uh, high achieving uh, standards, very high achieving. Uh, endeavors that many of you are, are witness here this evening and I'm so proud of to be part of this community and I'm so proud of our students in this graduating class uh, on behalf of the entire administration faculty and staff I commend you on your efforts you still have a few days left <laughs> behave in the cafeteria and let's make sure that we make the end of the year as good as the, the beginning and the middle of the year I look forward to seeing all of your graduation. If you're able to stay this evening, thank you for attending. We do have some light refreshments. Please feel free to join us in the cafeteria. Thank you again for coming and congratulations.